Welcome to Par Tuesday News Review for March 29th. Par Tuesday is your news that is important to IDA providers in our community. March has been chock full of issue recognitions and celebrations. And as we close out the month, let's remember to commemorate Developmental Disabilities Awareness Month for the next few days by seeking to raise awareness about the inclusion of people with developmental disabilities in all facets of community life, as well as awareness of the barriers that people at IDA still sometimes face in connecting to the communities in which they live. Furthermore, let's consciously work to raise the perception of our communities, of the value of people with IDA and DSPs every day. Our daddy was a DSP for several years. He learned a lot from the people he supported and loved his job. He was sad when he had to get a, a higher paying job to support his family. We want to say a special thanks to you and all the DSPs out there. The legislature continues to consider the budget's the governor's budget proposal. The final budget will be a result of the negotiation between the administration and the legislature. PAR and our partners will continue to meet with legislative leaders, appropriation committee members and staff, and the administration until the process is complete. This year, PAR is advocating for the following. One, an annual inflationary index with an additional annual adjustment. Two, level up for IDA legislation. Three, a permanent end to prudent pay. Four, continuation of regulatory flexibilities. And five, a reduction in the waiting list. Significant process has been made on three of PAR's budget priorities with Level Up for IDA legislation being introduced in the Pennsylvania Senate, the administration deciding to remove prudent pay from their budget proposal for the next fiscal year, and the governor including waiting list relief in his proposed budget. DHS ODP made public the final rates and responses to public comments on February 25th, and these were published in the February 26th Pennsylvania Bulletin. To view the Center for Disability Information, CDI, analysis of the impact of the proposed rates and parse comments on the revised rates, you may go to www.par.net forward slash resources. Providers had until yesterday, March 28th, to appeal the adequacy of these rates. Please go to www.par.net forward slash action hyphen center to contact your House and Senate members to support PAR's advocacy efforts. Remember to follow PAR on Facebook and Twitter to check out, like, and share our post. Be sure to tag Governor Wolf and your state and federal legislators to help spread our message. Thanks for watching Part TNR. Stay safe, everyone, and be sure to tune in next week. Thank you.